Isn't that cute? Here's a really compact little folder made by Buck. This is their Nano Bantam. You can see this is a two handed opening knife. It's only a thumb nick here. No thumb stud or anything. And has a lockback mechanism. It's a very cheap knife. It costs you around 10 to 15 dollars. Unfortunately, the choice of the steel reflects that. Uh, Buck used 420J2 steel for this blade. And from my limited understanding of blade steels, this is not really that great. It's apparently not really intended to be blade steel. So it has a low edge retention, as far as I understand. And uh, so it, it doesn't really perform that well. It, uh, its advantages are that it is very corrosion resistant and it's rather soft steel. The risk of it breaking is really slim. Then again, you wouldn't really treat such a small knife with, with any considerable force anyway. So, yeah, the steel is not that great, but, well, it is cheap. And uh, the handle is a thermoplastic. As you can see, it has no, no metal liners. There's just uh, the metal of the lockback mechanism here. And... Uh, which of course makes it very light. Let's just quickly check this out. The weight is 19 grams or 3 fourth ounces. So this is definitely a very lightweight little knife. As you can see, quite compact indeed. It easily fits in my hand, even when opened. And I have rather small hands, so this is really small. But they did a really good job on the handle shape here, because you can see it is quite ergonomic. This nice finger choil here. It's a very comfortable and practical shape that they chose. Your finger definitely locks in place here. And there is also a lanyard hole. Although you typically cover that up with, with your finger, but you could still attach a lanyard there. There is, as you can see, no belt clip. Which you know, is kind of a shame, but uh, on the other hand, it handles better, I would say, than if it had a belt clip. And, I mean, it's not the biggest deal. You could carry it in a pouch. On, on the belt or something. Or you could just put it directly in your pocket. I mean, pff, it won't bother you at all. You won't even notice it's there because of the uh, small size and, and low weight. So that's not an issue. Let's check out the sharpness. Checking with the thumb. It seems reasonably sharp. Let's see. Yep. Definitely very usable. Actually, n very nicely sharp, I have to say. It does cut quite cleanly. So the sharpness out of the box is quite reasonable indeed. No need to resharpen it, unless you want it to be really scary sharp. And, um, yeah, like I said, the handle is nice and comfortable. It has some texturing here, which I forgot to mention earlier. Um, it doesn't do all that much, but... It has a positive impact and um, it feels nice, so that's not a problem. And um, yeah, as long as you keep in mind what such a small knife can be used for, I mean, it obviously has its severe limitations. You're not going to cut the cardboard with it or anything. Um, no going out in the woods and batoning with this thing. Ah, ha, ha, obviously. Let's check out the lockup. It is a lockback, so you would expect it to be very sturdy, but there is actually blade play. 
I didn't really expect that, but there is noticeable blade play back and forth. Not sure how well you can see that, but it is actually significant. So I'm not too happy with that. Sideways blade play, yeah, just a little bit, but uh, you have the usual problem with such small knives, which have uh, a plastic handle only without metal com uh, components. It just feels like you could snap it out relatively easily. Although for such a construction, it is reasonable, reasonably sturdy. But like I said, some blade play is not that great. So overall, would I recommend this knife? Well, yes, with some hesitation because of the uh, relatively low quality steel and the slight blade play. It's um, not the greatest thing I've ever seen, but again, for the low price, and if you want something specifically like this, a small compact light uh, lockback folder, it is still interesting. So if you keep in mind those limitations that it has, it might still be interesting. So I'm not overly thrilled with it, but it's not really a bad knife either. It's just sort of mediocre, I would say.